have spent a lot of time on this channel talking about which pieces of hardware are the best, what exactly makes them so, and so on. So we're confident you already know how to pick out the best PC components for your needs if you've been following this channel for a while now. However, we've never really spoken about when you should be making these purchases. Hardware prices are very fickle, but there are certain precautions you can take to make sure you're always getting the most bang for your buck. And this is exactly what we'll be talking about in today's video. So without any further ado, let's begin. First up, we have all the recurring yearly sales. Yearly sales may be the most obvious answer, but this doesn't diminish their significance. Black Friday comes to mind first, but there are many other dependable sales like Black Friday's younger cousin, Cyber Monday, as well as seasonal Halloween and pre-Christmas sales, just to name a few. In fact, most retailers are eager to take every opportunity presented to them to slap a massive sale sign all over their windows. So Valentine's Day and Labor Day are also great times to shop for new pieces of hardware. The same also goes for January sales, back to school sales and beginning of summer sales. Heck, November 11th has already exploded in China as one of the largest sale days of the year. They call it Singles Day, the antithesis of Valentine's Day, which started out as nothing short of a meme because this date is comprised of four ones. This didn't stop websites such as Alibaba and AliExpress, however, who were quick to capitalize on it. And with how huge a success Singles Day has become there, it's only a matter of time before stores start celebrating it in the West as well. So there's really no shortage of large sales throughout the year, and each one acts as an optimal time for you to make all of your hardware purchases. If you're dead set on a particular brand and model, you may end up disappointed, but even then, there should be plenty of alternatives available that may win you over with their favorable prices. The only dry spell you need to be on the lookout for is the period between March and June. This is the one time of the year when prices actually go up a bit without any significant sale in sight. Now this next one may be detrimental to compulsive shoppers, but keeping an eye out for daily deals can end up saving you a lot of money in the long run. Both Amazon and Newegg offer substantial discounts on certain articles every day. And it's not just online giants that offer these kinds of deals. Some brick and mortar stores like Best Buy also have these deal of the day types of offers. Now, the downside to this is that you never really know what you're going to be offered here. One day it could be a recently released and highly coveted GPU. The next day, it could be a DDR3 RAM. And then the day after that, it could be a toaster. Because these daily deals function like discount lotteries, you shouldn't count on them for any large purchases. If you need to buy an entire PC from scratch, yearly sales are definitely your best bet. But if you already have a PC that you're looking to slowly upgrade over time, then keeping an eye out for these types of deals can prove quite lucrative. If you aren't keen on having only the newest components in your gaming rig, then another excellent time to shop would be when a new generation, a certain piece of hardware gets released. For example, second gen Ryzen CPUs got a fairly sizable price cut when the third gen Ryzen CPUs got released. Retails of retailers of course make this out to look like discounts since nothing attracts a shopper's attention like a 40% discount on a great CPU. Except these are permanent discounts so you shouldn't feel rushed to get them on the very same day. CPUs from a year ago or even two should have no problem running the most recently released games. But their value plummets with each passing year, so manufacturers strive to liquidate most of their stock before it gets to turn three or four years old, or god forbid, even older. So if a Ryzen 5 2600 will do, there's no reason to get the new Ryzen 5 3600. The same goes for other pieces of hardware or even peripherals. Gaming on last gen components will often cost you significantly less than if you were to buy exclusively current gen components, but the performance gap won't be that significant. You should of course keep up with the newest trends so that you can judge for yourself which latest gen components offer the most value over their predecessors and which can be skipped with impunity. The Ryzen 5 3600 in particular, with its new Zen 2 architecture, demonstrates one of the larger generational gaps in terms of performance, so you may not want to miss out on that one. 
but there's no such incentive to upgrade from a Radeon 570 to a Radeon 580, as the latter is pretty much the same GPU with higher clock speeds. Now here's the thing, not everyone's able to wait for seasonal sales to buy PC components, whether due to some internal factors like impatience or completely external factors like the PC you absolutely need for work suddenly dying on you. However, this doesn't mean that you have to pay full price for your new PC. We suggest making use of certain sites that track hardware prices across multiple stores. All you have to do is visit one of these sites and find the component you're interested in. And it will show you how much the component goes for on, say, Amazon, Newegg, Outlet PC, and so on. The list of stores they track is quite comprehensive, and you'd be surprised to know just how significant the price gaps among them can be, especially when it comes to older products. So if you don't mind buying components from several different retailers, this is the best way to save some cash. PC Part Picker is one of the best sites of the kind, but if you live in the UK, you should also check out Price Spy. The links to both of these sites are in the description. Do you remember the cryptocurrency mining craze from a few years ago? It took the world by storm and the market was simply not ready for it. And as a result of this, hardware prices skyrocketed, with GPUs getting the worst of it. It used to be that you had to cough up high-end money for a gaming rig that could barely classify as mid-range. Since then, one of the things that we've been thankful for for every Thanksgiving has been how cryptocurrency mining has crashed and burned so people can buy gaming PCs at normal prices once again. However, it is important to recognize the other external factors that can lead to similar hardware price inflation as well. This could be anything from the manufacturers being unable to meet market demands, to natural disasters, taxes, or even changes in a country's legal system. Unfortunately, there's usually nothing you can do about these things, but googling to see what's the cause of a sudden inflation can help inform your decision on whether to wait for prices to return to normal or not, and if so, for how long you should wait. And that about does it for this video. To summarize, the best time to buy a new PC component would be during the large yearly sales. But there are plenty of opportunities to find good deals throughout the year. Patient shoppers who vigilantly keep one eye out on daily deals offered by large retailers can easily find the jackpot when they least expect it, while those in a hurry can still save a few pennies by checking which retailers offer the lowest prices on sites like PC Part Picker. Additionally, you could also turn to secondhand sellers if you want to get PC components for cheap. But we highly suggest watching the video linked in the description where we discuss the viability of buying used graphics cards before you do so. In any case, we hope you found this video helpful. If you have, you can help us out by liking it and subscribing to our channel. And if you've got friends who could benefit from watching this, help them out by sharing this video, either directly or on social media. Also, you should click on the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this one so that you'll get a notification whenever a new one gets uploaded. We are constantly working on new videos for you guys, so the next one should be right around the corner. In the meantime, mere games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.